the AEM 21-699C air intake system was engineered to add horsepower and reduce restriction compared to OEM air intakes, and it comes with a lifetime limited warranty. This AEM air intake utilizes a large reusable dry flow air filter that is oil-free, durable, and very easy to clean. The air filter can be used for up to 100,000 miles before cleaning is needed, depending on driving conditions. AEM Air Intake 21-699C fits 2007 through 2010 Mini Cooper S and 2010 Mini Cooper S Clubman models with 1.6 liter engines. See the AEM catalog or aemintakes.com for up-to-date model details. This air intake system is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check aemintakes.com for up-to-date information on emissions legality for specific parts on specific vehicles. AEM power testing showed an estimated power gain of 14 horsepower gain at 5400 RPM with this air intake installed on a 2010 Mini Cooper S with a 1.6 liter turbo engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather, and other variables. Here's a comparison of the Cooper sound on the dyno with the stock OEM system versus AEM's air intake. AEM air intakes come with detailed instructions with pictures and diagrams. AEM intakes are engineered for specific vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Preparing the vehicle. Make sure the vehicle is parked on a level surface. Set the parking brake. If the engine has run in the past two hours, let it cool down. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. Do not discard stock components after removal of the factory system. Removal of the stock system. Disconnect the MAF sensor wiring harness at the MAF sensor housing by pushing down the small lock tab and pulling on the connector. To remove the stock intake tube, disconnect the turbo bypass tube from the stock intake and loosen the two hose clamps retaining the intake tube. To remove the stock MAF sensor housing, remove the two screws retaining the MAF housing to the upper airbox lid. Then remove the large O-ring from the MAF sensor outlet. Remove the lower torque screw and plastic grommet insert at the passenger side foot of the stock airbox using a T20 Torx bit. Retain the Torx screw for future use. The AEM intake system is a performance product that can be used safely during mild weather conditions. During harsh and inclement weather conditions, you must return your vehicle to stock OEM airbox and intake tract configuration. Failure to follow these instructions will void your warranty. Pull up on the stock airbox assembly carefully until it pops free from the three rubber mounting grommets on the intake manifold. Make sure all three rubber grommets stay in the intake manifold. Unclip the plastic vacuum line from the lower intake elbow. To completely remove the airbox assembly, disconnect the airbox inlet elbow from the stock intake tube by squeezing on the intake tube and pulling it free from the four locking slots in the intake elbow. Installation of the AEM intake system. When installing the intake system, do not completely tighten the hose clamps or mounting hardware until instructed to do so. Install the three black heat shield mounting nipples onto the bottom of the airbox using three of the M6 hex bolts and three of the split washers inside the airbox. Fully tighten the three bolts and washers inside the airbox. Install the smaller grommet into the black filter minder support bracket. Mount the filter minder support bracket onto the brass inserts on the side of the airbox using two of the M6 button head bolts and two of the split washers. Fully tighten the bolts with a 4mm Allen wrench. Mount the AEM filter minder gauge into the grommet of the support bracket. Use glass cleaner or a silicone lubricant to ease installation into the grommet. If necessary, reset the gauge needle so it points to the green section of the indicator. Install the stock MAF sensor housing into the large upper hole inside the airbox. 
The two bolt flange should face left toward the inside of the airbox. Rotate the MAF sensor housing in the hole until the MAF sensor connector is aligned with the access hole in the front of the airbox. Install the short reinforced hose over the inlet flange of the MAF housing on the outside of the airbox with a number 44 hose clamp. Fully tighten the hose clamp. Install the small elbow fitting into the small hole in the cap of the dry flow air filter. Install the long 532nd inch hose over the elbow fitting. Inside the air box, install the AEM dry flow air filter onto the outlet of the MAF sensor housing with a number 44 hose clamp. Fully tighten the hose clamp. Push the long 532nd inch hose attached to the air filter's cap through the 3 8 inch hole on the side of the air box and connect it to the port of the AEM filter minder gauge. Trim the hose as needed. If your AEM airbox has a small 1 quarter inch hole in the mounting foot, install the stock Torx screw removed earlier into the mounting foot and continue at step 3Q. If your AEM airbox has a larger 1 half inch hole in the mounting foot, cut the 1 half inch hose to match the length of the hole in the mounting foot. Insert the cut hose into the mounting foot hole until it is flush with the bottom face. Partially insert the stock Torx screw into the rubber hose. The hose will work as an expansion grommet upon installation. Install the new airbox assembly onto the three stock mounting grommets on the intake manifold. Align the Torx screw in the mounting foot to the lower passenger side mounting pad on the intake manifold. Fully tighten the screw with a T20 Torx driver until it is fully seated in the intake manifold's mount. Install the oval end of the rubber elbow intake coupler over the outlet of the stock plastic intake tube. Fully seat the coupler until the four plastic lock tabs fit into the four slots in the rubber elbow coupler. Insert the round end of the elbow coupler into the lower inlet hole of the air box. Make sure it is fully seated. Place a large split grommet over the MAF wiring harness. Note that the MEF harness may have been rerouted underneath the other engine sensor harness to maximize slack. Connect the MEF harness connector to the MEF sensor housing inside the airbox. Fully seat the split grommet into the MEF sensor access hole in the front of the airbox to completely seal the hole. Remove the waxed paper backing from the silicone foam window gasket by pinching the gasket on its sides then peeling up the edge of the exposed paper. Do not use a knife to remove the paper backing. Place the powder coated airbox heat shield lid on a table with the part number stamp facing downward. Apply the adhesive side of the silicone gasket on top of the heat shield, aligning it with the window cutout. Press down on the foam gasket to ensure adhesion to the heat shield lid. The adhesive must set for a full 24 hours before use for best results. Mount the heat shield lid assembly onto the air box using four M6 button head bolts and four plastic washers. Tighten using a 4 mm Allen wrench. Start all four bolts before fully tightening. Loosely install the turbo elbow coupler onto the turbocharger inlet using the provided number 28 hose clamp. Fully seat the turbo bypass connector into the bypass port of the coupler. Use glass cleaner to ease installation of the interference fit connector into the bypass port if necessary. Loosely install the intake tube into the turbo coupler and then into the short hose on the airbox side using two number 44 hose clamps. Adjust the tube until it is straight alongside the engine and then fully tighten all three hose clamps. Assemble the two M6 by 65 mm hex bolts, two flat washers, two split washers, and two aluminum spacers so the hex bolts slide through the turbo heat shield holes and into the aluminum spacers. Assemble the parts so that the flat washers mount on the top of the heat shield and the split washers are sandwiched by the heat shield and aluminum spacers. Ensure that the AEM logo on the turbo heat shield is facing up. Mount the two long hex bolts of the turbo heat shield assembly 
into the two M6 mounting bosses at the edge of the cylinder head. Fully tighten the two long hex bolts until the washers and spacer are seated. Pull up on the turbo heat shield to ensure there is about a 1 8 inch air gap between it and the stock turbocharger heat shield wrap. The AEM aluminum heat shield is required to protect your AEM cold air hood scoop from excess heat. Installation of the AEM cold air hood scoop. When installing the intake system, do not completely tighten the hose clamps or mounting hardware until instructed to do so. Remove the four screws retaining the hood insulation under the vehicle's hood. Remove the insulation pad. Note the four insulation pad mounting holes on the under hood bracing. Temporarily close the vehicle's hood. Carefully pull up at the rear center of the factory hood scoop bezel using small fingertips or a flathead screwdriver covered in tape and a soft cloth until it pops free from the hood. Carefully pull up on the remaining mounting tabs to remove the bezel. Place the hood scoop bezel face down on a clean cloth or towel to prevent scratching. Remove the four small Phillips screws retaining the air restrictor grill. Remove the grill. Reinstall the now fully open hood scoop bezel onto the vehicle hood by popping the mounting tabs back into position by hand. Do not use a mallet to force them in. Install the edge trim onto the lower lip and sides of the cold air hood scoops inlet. Ensure the edge trim is even on both sides of the inlet and is fully seated. Use the heel of your hand or a light rubber mallet to fully seat. Open the vehicle's hood. Mount the AEM cold air hood scoop onto the underside of the hood by mounting the plastic push rivets into the four insulator pad mounting holes by hand. Ensure the four push rivets are fully seated and properly secure the AEM hood scoop in place. Make sure the edge trim of the AEM hood scoop inlet fully seals around the cutout of the underside of the vehicle hood. In some vehicles, you may need to unclip the windshield washer hose under the hood to prevent the hose from being pinched. Reroute the hose around the back of the new hood scoop and then reclip the hose. Reassemble the vehicle. Position the inlet pipes for the best fitment. Be sure that the pipes or any other components do not contact any part of the vehicle. Tighten the rubber mounts if applicable, all bolts and hose clamps. Check for proper hood clearance. Readjust pipes if necessary and retighten them. Inspect the engine bay for any loose tools and check that all fasteners that were moved or removed are properly tightened. Reconnect the negative battery terminal and start the engine. Let the vehicle idle for three minutes. Perform a final inspection before driving the vehicle. It will be necessary to check AEM air intakes periodically for realignment, clearance, and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. Go to aemintakes.com to find products, download installation instructions, view dyno chart showing estimated horsepower gains, and for other product details.